Hey everybody, it's John Wilkerson from Struggling for Purpose and thewiredhomeschool.com and I've got another product review for you. Now you might remember uh, almost two weeks ago now I received a 3D printed wall mount for my Google Home Mini. I got it from Andrew over at 3D Printed Elements. Uh, there'll be something down here with a link to his Instagram account where you could order one too if you wanted. He also makes wall mounts for the Dot, the Alexa Dot, the Amazon Dot, whatever that's called. Oh, I just fired off Alexa on my iPad. I got the product. I've been using it. And let me tell you, this is a great little product. Now, it comes with a little uh, mount for mounting it on your wall, you know, you can put a screw in your wall. But what I did was use some command strips to mount it to the wall. And that makes it a lot cleaner, I guess. You don't have to put holes in your wall. And one of the things that I really like about it is the Home Mini is nice and tight in the mount. And what it allowed us to do in our home anyway, because of the way our home is structured and where we kind of hang out the most in our house, it allowed us to put it in a more centralized location because before it was on one end of the living room over by the television. And if you were in the kitchen, you couldn't really activate it because we don't have two and there's really no space to put it, put a second one on the wall or anywhere in my kitchen. And so now that it's in a central location, it makes it a lot easier to use the device we don't have to yell across the house to activate it. And it's it's just made it a lot easier to use and easier to hear too. We don't have to have the volume turned all the way up. There's a lot of other great benefits of having this mounted on the wall. Now, if you have space in your kitchen, this is a great little device. You can just put it right next to a power outlet and it, it's right close there. The only thing that and this isn't Andrew's fault, it's the fault of the way the Mini is designed, is that your buttons end up being reversed because technically speaking, your home Mini is upside down when it's mounted in there. But other than that, there's no issues. You just get used to using the buttons backwards or you just use your verbal commands. So two big, huge thumbs up to Andrew over at 3D Printed Elements. Like I said, there's going to be a link down below somewhere up there. I don't know. Somewhere we're going to put a link uh, to Andrew's Instagram page where you can order them. I think they're nine bucks plus shipping. So thanks, Andrew, for sending me one. I appreciate it. He sent me one. All I did was pay for the shipping in exchange for this review. So I really appreciate him doing that, taking a chance on me. And hey, if you've got a Google Home Mini please reach out to him and let him know John sent you. That's going to do it for this product review. If you want to see more product reviews like this, hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, ring my bell to get notified whenever new videos are posted. Bye.